Hello YouTube, welcome to my channel Anna Bella and today I'm going to be reviewing Warhammer Age of Sigma Mortal Realms issue 8. In issue 8 you get a blue paint and you get your first war machine and two assistants. In fact this war machine reminds me of the Dark Elf repeater bolt thrower from original square base Warhammer. Anyway, let's do the magazine first as we normally do. So here it is. Issue 8, regular features are all there, so we get the Celestial Ballastars and the Engineers and the Sheeshlish in the Realms, the Besieged, How to Build, very clear instructions actually, very clear to build the two assistants and the war machine itself. How to paint. So we've got retribution armor, flesh, dry brushing your model silver, which is what I've done with these guys. And these guys are looking really, really great. So I'm gonna zoom in. So this is the exclusive model here, the Enchantress. Models from the first issue. Look at that. I really, really like how they've turned out. Repeater Boatmen, Repeater Bolt, Stormcast Eternals, they are looking so, so nice. Look at the detail. Loving it. I'm loving the fact that they look newly forged, to be absolutely honest. They look really good. I like that. So that's why they're there. So that's as far as we've got with those. And then over the page, tells you to put the white on for the cape and the skin and then the blue for the cape and also the shield but and the collar on these I'm I'm in and about whether to put more blue on because it's basically like making a Warhammer version of the Space Marines um in short so I think they look really really nice but I'm really liking some of the tones that the shields have already these natural tones, so I might just leave as is. I'm kind of umming and ahhing. I will obviously paint their faces white for flesh tone, of course, and I probably will do their little lapel collars blue as and when, because I think that would be good. Capes, not too sure at the moment. We'll see. We'll see. Okay, then we've got Unleash the Artillery in the rules section. So... The Glaive Wraiths attack and then pre repeat a bolt throw attacks, then the Glaive Wraiths attacks. They've really gone to town with the rules, actually. That's that. And then in issue nine, you get one, two, three, four, five more figures. Two with repeater bolts and two with, like, axes and shields. And then in issue ten, you get a red and the Tomb Banshee. So that looks pretty cool. So here, here's the blue, Cantor blue, which is a blue I've not got. First assistant figure. See, look, they've even got the set square measurer to help you measure accuracy with your aim, with your bolts. So that's that. And then this one is looking much more chunky. And he's got his devices to help him measure. Push these guys back a bit. And here's the bolt thrower itself. So this is the bird's eye view. Front view. Had a lot more success with putting these guys together. Really clip. Really quick to clip them all in. I love the detail on the actual bases in the Stormcast Eternals. They all have them apart from this figure and I've just flocked her base. So that is that. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please like, comment and subscribe and thank you for the support. Bye!